Hello to my YouTube peeps and family. I still haven't gone through the Lincoln Memorial pennies yet. So I've got the whole stack of copper pennies I have to go through. See, 1973, 1971, and so on. But we're going to concentrate on that little thing right there. That Canadian penny you see. <clears throat> and there's a reason why we're going to concentrate on the Canadian penny. Is because basically... Canada has actually stopped making those things. They stopped making pennies, I think, in the 19... Uh, I forget, almost like... After, I don't know it was after 1980, because it's a 1980 penny. <laughs> I think 1984, something like that. But let's take a better look at it, shall we? You, you got Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth on there. Nicely struck, has a, a nice bust of her basically. So it's pretty good. But remember, there, there's four key dates to look for when it comes to Canadian pennies. And this is what they are the first date is 1921, because uh, the 1921 Canadian penny is worth up to $2,700. 1922. Is worth up to nineteen hundred dollars, as well as nineteen fifty-five. Now, the nineteen forty Newfoundland penny is worth up to eighteen hundred. But I don't got the luck for having that for this coin right here. This is just a uh, nineteen eighty. This is the fourth Canadian penny I actually have, and I gotta say, it's still pretty nicely struck. At least I think it is. Like I said, I'll put a, I'll put that list of those dates up at the end of this video. You guys have any comments about uh, what what type of coin I should do? I have a few coins coming in. Yes, they ordered some. <laughs> I want to try to keep you guys information. Like I said, keep looking for this penny. Remember those key dates I told you, the four key dates, which are going to be on at the very end of the video for you guys to check out again. But until next time, you guys have a very wonderful day. Bye.